Hi guys, it's Mrs. Toy. Today I'm going to show you how to create mono prints using some supplies that you have at home. So first, what a mono print is, is a single print. So mono means one, and print would be something that you can make a copy of or multiples of normally. Um, so what we're going to be doing is making single prints out of our supplies today. The first thing that I have here is just construction paper. So you can use any sort of paper you have. It could be line paper, white paper, um, junk mail that came that you don't need. Um, anything that you have works terrific. Then I have um, washable markers. So these are Crayola washable markers. Again, you can use any brand that you have. Rose Art, Prang, Crayola if you have it, whatever it is, as long as it is washable. Um, the next thing that I need is, you can see here, I have some aluminum foil. Um, if it's what I have, which is the Dollar Tree foil, it's a little bit thinner. So you want to be careful because when you're coloring onto this, you can rip a hole into it. So just make sure that it um, you're being careful with your supplies. The next thing I have here is just a spray bottle. This is just filled with water. Um, if you don't have a spray bottle, you can also try using a sponge, um, which I'll do an example with as well today. So the first thing that I want to do is take, again, my washable markers, and I'm just going to draw a design onto here. So I'm going to kind of just layer these out. So let's do some of this raspberry color. Let's do a rainbow. Some orange. Yellow. Make sure to always test your colors or your markers beforehand. So I had a little piece of scrap paper that I tested them on to make sure that they worked before I actually used them on the foil. Okay, so there are my colors. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my plain white paper, or again, whatever you have. I'm going to spray this down with the water. So I have it damp. I don't want it wet to where I could poke a hole through this. Just damp enough that it'll help the colors bleed. I'm going to then put it onto my paper or onto my foil and rub where the marker is onto the wet paper. And then I can peel this up. And there you have it. So you can see where I have a little bit more water onto my paper. The colors actually started to bleed a little bit more. Where over here it was probably a little bit drier. So the colors stayed in those sections that I actually colored. So it depends on the look that you like. Um, either way is fine. It's just totally up to you of what you like to do. So now that that one's done. So again, remember I said it's a single print. So most of the ink that I used here from the marker is gone. So I can't um, do another color or another print of this to make it look identical. That's why it's a mono print. So what I can do so that I can use this again is just take a wet wipe um, or a wet paper towel or a washcloth, whatever it is that you have, and wipe it off and it's dry or it's good and ready to go again. So it's not dry though. Um, so what I might want to do if I'm going to do it right away is to flip my foil over to the dry side and now I can do another one so maybe this time I want to actually draw a picture so let's do like a landscape so maybe I have maybe there's a hill here I can add the sun maybe there's a tree let's put some leaves on the tree okay. and you could add whatever details you want I'm gonna leave it like that though um, and again I have another piece of paper I'm going to oh I'm not gonna use a spray bottle this time I'm going to use my sponge and what I'm gonna do let me move this so I can show you I'm gonna take my paper and my wet sponge and I'm going to press it on here to get it wet now my sponge did dry out a little bit so I think I am gonna spray it still um, to get it a little bit more wet or here let me just spray the sponge Oops. okay let's try that again there we go okay so we'll move this back so you can see it and I'm gonna take this doesn't matter this side's just a little bit drier than the other so I'm gonna use the side I put the sponge on 
And again, press, rubbing this onto here to get my design. I think I needed a little bit more water, but we'll see when I pull this up. Oh, it did come through. So there you go. Let me show that a little bit closer. So again, the colors didn't bleed a lot. If I would have got it a little bit more wet or a little more, bit more damp, the colors would have showed a little bit more. But there's another example. Now, again, same wet wipe, and I'm just going to wipe this off. Um, and I'm going to do one more. So I already pre-drew um, something onto my paper. This I did use a permanent marker for, though, because I don't want this marker to bleed with the water. So I used a permanent black marker, or you could use a crayon, because remember, crayons are made out of wax, and the wax and the water don't uh, blend together. So either thing that you have would work great. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip this back over. So it's the dry side. It's a little bit damp still, but it'll be okay. And this time, I'm just going to kind of scribble a little pattern or design, not a pattern, a design onto here. Just filling the space real quickly. Making whatever you want. Maybe I want to do like some swirlies in here. Okay, same thing. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to spray it or if you have a sponge. Now I got that really wet so my colors will probably really bleed or blend when I do this. And I'm going to take it and press rubbing that paper onto here and then I'm going to pull that up and there's my design. You can see again a little bit more water was up here so the colors bled more than they did over here. Now I could do that again. I can still kind of see my ink. Let's see if I can color on top of this. Yeah so I want to add a little bit more green. Just redo some of those colors. Let's see what happens again. Let's get that paper wet again. And I'm going to press it down. Now again, it's not in that same spot. Some of that ink is running through, so I got some on my hand. But again, it's washable. That's totally fine. And let's see what happens when I do it again. Yeah, I like that better. So you can always reprint on top of what you did. You could let this dry completely and then come back and do it again if you don't want the same colors. Um, it's totally up to you. And again, just wipe up. When you're done, you could save this to do later on or just recycle it in your recycle bin. If you guys have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. You can pop in on my Zoom meetings or you can email me any questions that you have. I would love to hear from you. And I would love to see anything that you guys are creating, whether it's a mono print or um, anything at all that you are making. Please share it with me. You can share it on Artsonia or you can email it to me as well. Thanks guys, keep creating.